Hey guys, and welcome to The Long Dark. So, The Long Dark is a survival, pretty much just a realistic survival sandbox in which it is basically you against the elements. So, and when I say realistic, I mean actually realistic. Wind chill is a factor, how cold it is outside is a factor, animals will hunt you, it's the outside is a dangerous mistress. So, um, I will try to explain a lot of the things as we go through, but for now, I think we'll just explain the basics. So there's three modes. There's Pilgrim, you wander the long road to observe the quiet apocalypse and chronicle the passing of an error. All about atmosphere. So exactly as it says, this is more of a one that's about exploration and just viewing um, the scenery and the game itself. Wildlife will not attack you and it's generally um, you generally um, have a lot easier time surviving. Voyeur, you're an explorer in equal parts hunter and hunted. The world would not give you anything freely but you'll find that with time you can master it. For players who are looking for a reasonable challenge, exploration is a survival experience but not a punishing one. So Voyeur is a little bit more dangerous and the, and nature is a lot more punishing so at the beginning we won't have very warm clothes so we'll have a lot of difficulty staying warm especially when it's very cold outside and then there's stalker your demise waits behind every hilltop shelter and tree only by skill and determination can you snatch another hour from death's hungry jaws for players who are looking for a punishing challenge punishingly challenging survival experience so um this one is just like the absolute hardcore mode every animal is trying to kill you nature is just ferocious but we're going to be doing the voyeur so there's different areas that represent different amounts of challenge and so we're going to start in the basic one i've just played the basic amount of the game just kind of get an idea of how it works so Dramatic next storm has brought your plane crash into the northern Canary's wilderness. How long can you survive? It's not can you survive, it's how long can you survive. On a long enough timeline, the survival rate for everyone drops to zero. So, we have spawned in the wilderness. I was actually going to restart. Sometimes you spawn in the cabin. I was going to restart until we spawn in the wilderness. So it's quite a bit of wind chill. So it is quite cold outside. So... We actually spawn on train tracks, which is generally quite good. Um, train tracks in Canada generally mean that um, you are going somewhere. Almost looks like there's train down there. So we could head in that direction. Just want to keep an eye out for everything. There is a tunnel down there. We'll just keep um, our mind focused. Keep an eye out. I don't think wolves will attack during the day, but and there's a deer down there. But, oh, we found a shelter already. That's lucky. So we don't want to sprint too much because it will tire you out. I'm going to get to the stats when we get inside. Um, just because we're getting colder when we're in here. So. Oop, got to walk up the steps. Let's open the front door. Okay. So this is a camp office. So let's see how warm we are in the camp office. Um, feels okay. So air temperature is negative three, but our clothing provides three degrees of bonus. There's no windshield since we're inside. So I'm gonna quickly explore here. So antiseptic That'll is handy. is useful for if you get a wound that it gets infected. So so I see radio there. Stacy's grape soda, sweet colored Vic, full of high fructose corn syrup, and that actually this would be a good thing. So items like this you can break down, but we do not have a hatchet. Whether you'd want to do that as well is questionable. Um, stoves, you can use um, to start fires to warm yourself up, but you need wood, which is actually wood here. So we probably will start a fire here shortly, just so we can actually get some water. So there's a line, a whetstone, and a hook, as well as a drawer. What have we here? Some ladder fuel is useful. 
and a lantern. So we want to take that here right away. And one thing we can do is weight is also a constant threat. The heavier you are, um, the more you have to carry. So 9.2. I'm not sure if filling up your lantern um, makes it lighter or not, but we are going to refill our lantern. I doubt if it make you, yeah, it makes you very slightly lighter because you're not carrying the container, but um, but yeah, energy bar, oh, needs septic, bandage. Okay, so we found some stuff. I'm going to leave this whetstone um, line and everything here because I'm going to be using it here and, and I'm nowhere near going to be able to fish. So I have low volume fuel source decided for help start fires. It's mostly used for when you're outside and you're having difficulty for if for some reason you really need the start a fire outside, which again, I do not recommend because um, <laughs> starting fires in the middle of an open field or something we pretty much mean so your fire is likely going to go out, but it's also losing all its heat to the surroundings. So you generally want to start fires in places which are smart or inside. But there's a jerry can. Can contain kerosene fuel for ore lamps. We're going to be dropping a lot of this stuff here shortly, but it's easier if you kind of make a pile of stuff. Um, that's what a lot of people said because then you're not walking around wasting time. All, any time you waste is calories. If you if we look here, you can see our calorie store. It's slowly ticking down. So we're getting a little bit warmer as well, but we're not too hungry, not too thirsty. Ooh, a dead guy. So he even either froze or starved, or possibly both. So nothing on the shelf. We don't have a really good light source. I guess we could light our lantern, but I don't know. I don't think we're too bad of shape. One thing I want to show you is we have a bedroll we can sleep in. But you can also sleep in beds. Beds provide you with more warmth than your bedroll does, and they also do not degrade. So you're better off sleeping in beds. There's a cupboard here. Down ski jacket. Downfield ski jacket, dynasty the core warm but minimal wind blocking capabilities. I could use this. Tasty and pretty much last forever. Ooh, we're finding quite a bit of stuff. That's really handy. So, so well, do we even have gloves right now? No, we probably don't. So that's gonna provide us with quite a bit of warmth. So, and the thing is the game does layers. So underneath we have a fleece sweater. That's our inner layer. And then this is our outer layer. Um, it does not have much wind chill factor, but I guess that vest didn't have much insulating factor either. So this is a big improvement for us. Wind chill is what could really hurt you. So uh, socks, shoes, jeans. You're if you're outside, your clothing also wears out as well, or maybe just walking around. So yeah, a lot of this stuff's quite heavy. Useful if you find anything. There's a, another bedroll here as well. We can actually break these crates down with our hands, but we think you probably get more wood if you use an axe and it will be much faster. Um, I'm actually just going to leave this bedroll. Well, actually, oh, I could have looked at it. I think this is our original bedroll and it's in not better condition, but if it's not, this is the bedroll I want. So, um, so that's pretty much this. Um, how many hours of daylight do we have? I think if you go to a, if you go here, it probably will tell us. I think there'd be somewhere in here that tell you how many. Oh wait, four hours. So that's not a lot, but may as well explore a little bit. But yeah, we want to drop off a lot of stuff because this will be our base camp for the moment. We want to see if we can. Well, we're probably not going to catch any deer or anything, but. And I like to move forward a little bit as I do stuff, just so it's. And not in a pile. Just so it's manageable when you need to check it later. Actually, I should have, should carry one of these just in case. Just in case something happens. Um, the jerky. Well, the jerky is very light if I really need to take an adventure or something. I can pretty much put all my 
food down there in this more or less same place. Drop all. Okay, so that's quite a bit of herbal tea. I can take that apart later when I get sewing tools for just the cloth, so it is useful. So this takes time, but it's useful later on. The newspaper I'll want to keep for kindling purposes. I only have two drinks, I'll keep both of those. So a plug, plug or burma flammable flam wood. Required to start a fire. Well, I have my... Well, I'm going to take both because they're not very heavy, so... Um, and some water purification tablets and some matches. Oh yeah, well, actually, I don't think we're going to be thirsty too quickly and we can use nighttime to actually use this. So I am actually going to drop this wood for now because it's heavy. I'm not sure if I even really need my lantern. So I'm not sure if we're going to be finding anything, but... One thing we'll have to do is keep track of time. Because we can only travel for about an hour and a half. Because we want to be able to get back before it gets night. So I don't think it's too cold. Eh, it's a little bit chilly, but... I think with our jacket we're able to... Probably still a little bit more warm. I just want to check out that caboose. It looks like it's over there. So. This, yeah. So. Is that some wood over there? I guess I can go over there and pick it up another time. Almost like that's some wood you can pick up. Because without a hatchet or anything, I might have difficulty getting wood. How much time has passed, just so I know. Okay, so not that much time has passed. I, you can lightly jog a little bit. I don't think you want to jog a whole bunch, but... Jogging a little bit, I don't think it's the end of the world. You just don't want to really tire yourself out. And then, even if you get cornered or something. I'm guessing that's wood I can pick up. Take 10 minutes to break it down, but just to have some sticks for I'm getting a little bit cold, but and the neat thing is you could usually find your way back if you get go somewhere by your footprints. That's another thing if you're not paying attention to where you're going. So yeah, sticks aren't great for wood, but so I don't really want to break down some of my branches. Holy shit! The wind just really picked up. So the thing is, I don't really have a hunting knife or anything. So even if I find some food, I don't know what I'm gonna find. But yeah, it just got really, really windy. Just to show you guys. I guess. Wind chill's if gone way down. Well. So there's been a derailment here. We could stay a little bit warm in here, but not too much. A couple basic items. Rifle clean kit, compact toolkit used to keep rifle in good working order. We got a rifle that's used to dog food. Can of wet dog food. Smells bad, but it is probably better than starving. Probably. So. How cold are we? Oh shoot, we're really cold. But I'm gonna quickly. Oops, shoot. Just hurt myself. Can we not get into this other train car? Look, I wouldn't think so. Okay, well, see now, having not sprinted gives me lots of energy. I really need to get back quick. I'm really, really cold. So, so cold. As he says, so cold. Um. So 
So you don't really want to spend too much. You won't want, want to totally exhaust yourself. But so yeah, the wind. So we weren't too bad. One change in the wind, and we we're very, very cold. Um, didn't really find anything, but that's just how things go. Well, it almost looks like there's sh ice fishing sharks or anything over there, but. I just wanted to quick go to that shape tray because I thought it would actually have some stuff. But I just want to get in before I get too cold. We can actually light a fire when we get in there. So. Good. Well, I will take take all the wood for now. So. If you look, we are not a lot warm. That jacket's really helping a lot. So we'd be warming up, but we need to start a fire anyway, so. So we can actually use our sticks, which are only seven minutes of fuel, or our wood. So I'm not sure, I know reclaimed wood has other uses, so I am gonna just use a stick. Because sticks are plentiful. Would reclaim wood will have other purposes later on. And what we should do is we should actually, well I have my lantern so there's no point too much making torch because we need to reclaim wood if we really want a fire. But the reason we have a fire up here is if we want to go to bed at least our fire is nearby to our bed. I'm not sure if it matters but. Okay. Stick. So. Well. I probably want to melt quite a bit of snow. Why don't we just use all our sticks? So I want to get quite a bit of water. So every half a liter of water takes five minutes, ten minutes. So why don't we just do three liters for now? Oop. We can add a little bit of fire and then we can boil what we can of the water. Probably won't be able to boil quite all the water, but... Probably got a lot of the water boiled. What? It didn't boil any of it? Because it didn't complete? Well, that's kind of stupid. That's really stupid. I thought it was just going to give me like two point something liters of water. Hmm. I'm just kind of curious. If we leave, just because I'm testing mechanics, if we leave and come back, I wonder when it last saves us. I'm sure it's just auto saves, so. I think it auto saved when we came in here, so. Okay. So like I said, I want to try to save my reclaimed wood if I can. So. Um, so we're almost to two, three liters of water. So if we do two and a half, and add one reclaimed wood. Oh, we didn't actually succeed. Did we lose our stick? No. But we did lose a match. So that shows you don't aren't always successful. So. Oh, we failed again. Well, anyway, guys, I think I'll do this off camera here. I'll start the while I'll boil the water because I'm sure you'll see more of this. So we'll be back in the next episode from on. Thanks, guys. Later.